First of all, uh, welcome. How, how are you feeling right now? Uh, great. It's amazing to be back here. Yeah. And having brought this home, it's yeah. um, it's fantastic. I'm enjoying it. Exhausted though. Yes, it's, it's a very it's, it's a very tiring process, yeah. but worth it. The premiere was last night as well. Uh, it what was. Time did you manage to get to bed? It's just. Um, what I, I can't remember what time I got to bed. It's all it's all just a blur at this okay. stage. <laughs> What's it like now being the spokesman for uh, not just yourself but Superman? Um, I mean, there's there's a serious importance to it, but I try not to dwell on that kind of thing. I and mean, in being the spokesman, such an iconic character, I just try and be me and you know stay true to myself. Yeah. Uh, have there been any sort of really geeky questions that you just can't answer? Because there's so much. Superman content out there? Um, there's a huge amount of content out there and I've always been very open and honest about the fact that I became a fan after I got the offer and I started yeah. doing the reading then. Mm. So Superman fans haven't ever challenged me on stuff. Right, yeah. um, and if they do challenge me, I'll continue to be open and say, well, okay, I don't know that. Tell me about it and we'll yeah. have a discussion about it. Yeah. And and I think that's the way to go, just straightforward and honest. And at the end of the day, they are talking to Superman, so it's kind of hard to... Uh... Right, I can say <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not true. That yeah, it's, it's not. It's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, I used to go out with a girl from uh, Grooveville, Jersey, so okay. I know that I know the island quite well. Um, is there kind of some parallels between where you came from and Krypton to a certain extent? I'm thinking like an antiquated government system, for example. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I don't know sort of if uh, Krypton's a tax haven or not. No. Um, uh, What's the speed limit in Krypton? That's yeah, it's more than it's forty, long. I'd imagine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any similarities? Not, not that, not that I'm no, aware of. Okay. Um, is it was it important for you to put your own stamp on the character? Because chances are, you know, you're a man who's going to live to a maximum 100, 110 uh, as a human being. You, you're not going to be the the last Superman. You'd, right. You'd hope. Right. <laughs> um, I, there was no conscious stamp that I tried to apply to it. Yeah. I just wanted to do justice to the comic book, um, and I, I I don't think that's the way to do it. If, if you want to apply a stamp, you just do it your way. Yeah. And honestly, and then a stamp will be applied by those who watch it yeah as opposed to you yeah what was it like working with the rest of the cast obviously um russell crowe is obviously a, he, he's also a man who uh, admitted that he'd never really watched much <laughs> much superman before that like, what was it like working with uh, him absolutely amazing i mean all the cast just stellar mm -hmm. when you get to that kind of level of actors it makes the whole thing easier it really does change the game mm -hmm. Um, and the whole experience just becomes something else. Yeah, uh, I've read that uh, you're an occasional gamer. You've been to Skyrim and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, have you played your own game? Uh, have you played? I have not, not played, played my own game. game. No. That's surely when you know you've arrived. Well, it's it's going to be one of those weird things. I don't I don't know if I'm ready to play my own game <laughs> just yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Super stuff. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. Take.